Good morning, learners. Today, we're going to learn the different word formation processes. We are going to know how words in English can be created. Word formation is the creation of new words. Learning how words are formed encourages learners to analyze words they already know and to understand more about meaning and form. It also encourages them to experiment with new words and possible meanings. This is an important skill in manipulating language. New words enter English language all the time. There are even thousands every year. Now, English grows so quickly because there are many ways in how new words are formed. Like many languages, English allows the formation of compound words, blending, and clipping of words. Clipping is a process of forming a new word by clipping off an existing word. This is also known as truncation or shortening. Clipping is a cutting of words in order to shorten it. Now, clipped words are shortened words from longer words but does not change the part of speech and the meaning of the word. There are four kinds of clipping. First, the final or back clipping, wherein the beginning of the word is retained. For example, ad for advertisement, exam for examination, gym for gymnasium, and memo for memorandum. The second kind is the medial or middle clipping, wherein the final and initial clipping may be combined and result in curtailed words with the middle part retained, which is the stressed syllable. Examples are flu for influenza, ma'am for madame, fancy for fantasy, and fridge for refrigerator. The third kind is the forward clipping or initial clipping wherein only the final part of the word is retained. Examples are burger for hamburger, site for website, net for internet, and phone from telephone. Lastly, the complex or compound clipping wherein it involves clipping of more than one word to form a new word. Examples are rom-com from romantic comedy, sci-fi from science fiction, and sitcom from situation comedy. The second word formation technique is known as blending of words. Now, blending involves joining two words together by taking parts of both words and combining the parts into a new whole. Now, the result of this is known as blend. Words can also be formed from acronyms. It is a word formation process in which the first letters of a phrase or a term is pronounced as one word. Some acronyms have become regular words like the following. ASAP for as soon as possible, laser for light amplification by the stimulated emission of radiation, and scuba for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Another technique is compounding. It is a word formation process wherein two or more words are combined into a single new word. The last technique is borrowing. From the term itself, it is a word formation process wherein a word from one language is directly borrowed into another language. Let's have a quick recap of the five word formation processes that we have taken up. First, clipping. It is a process of forming a new word by clipping off part of an existing word and is also known as truncation or shortening. The second is blending. It involves joining two words together by taking parts of both words and combining the parts into a new whole. The result of this process is known as blend. The third process is the acronym. It is formed by the first letter of a phrase or a term and is pronounced as one word. Fourth is compounding. It is a word formation process wherein two or more words are combined into a single new word. Finally, we have borrowing. It's a word formation process wherein a word from one language is directly borrowed into another language.